science grade 7 unit 8 the nature of the earth the earth doesn't belong to us we belong to the earth by chief Seattle now look at this picture internal structure of the earth you can see the crust crust is divided into two oceanic crust and continental crust then the mantle liquid outer core and solid inner core the objectives of the lesson by the end of this unit you will be competent to expand your knowledge about the nature of the earth, expand your knowledge about the structure of the earth, investigate the components in the interior of the earth, expand your knowledge about tectonic plates, their movement and earthquakes. Earth Earth, our home, is the third planet from the sun. It's the only planet known to have an atmosphere containing oxygen, oceans of water on its surface and life. Earth is the fifth largest of the planets in the solar system. Then we are going to discuss about the structure of the Earth. The methods used by the geologist to obtain information about the interior of the Earth. What do they do? by examining different types of rock which are brought to the surface of the earth in times of volcanic eruptions. By examining earthquakes, during earthquakes huge rock movements within the earth give rise to seismic waves. These waves move through different layers of the earth. Information about the internal structure can be obtained by measuring the speeds of those seismic waves. Then you have to draw figure 8.A which is in your textbook. Name and color it. The inner part of the earth can be divided into three layers. Crust, mantle, core. Core can be divided into two, outer core, inner core. Crust, the outermost layer of the earth. The earth's crust is like the skin of an apple. It's the layer that you live on. It is very thin in comparison to other three layers. The crust is only about 8 kilometers thick under the oceans. Oceanic crust and about 32 kilometers thick under the continents. Continental crust. The crust is broken into many pieces called plates. Plates float on the soft mantle which is located below the crust. The crust is composed of two basic rock types, granite and basalt. The continental crust is composed mostly granite. The oceanic crust consists of volcanic lava, rock called basalt. Mantle The mantle lies below the crust and is up to 2,900 kilometers thick. It consists of hot, dense, iron and magnesium rich solid rock. The crust and the upper part of the mantle make up the lithosphere which is broken into plates. It is highly viscous. What are the elements present in the mantle? Oxygen, silicon, magnesium, iron, aluminium, calcium, sodium, potassium. Core. Earth's core is the very hot very dense center of our planet. The core is found about 2900 kilometers below 
Earth's surface and has a radius of about 3,485 kilometers. It is made up of two layers itself. The outer core which borders the mantle and the inner core which is a ball shaped layer made almost entirely of metal. Outer core is made mostly iron and nickel. Unlike the outer core, the inner core is mostly solid. Scientists believe the metals in Earth's core are in constant motion. Now we are going to discuss about plate tectonics. Tectonic plates. Look at this picture. Here you can see some tectonic plates. North American plate, Caribbean plate, South American plate, African plate, Arabian plate, Eurasian plate, Indo-Australian plate, Pacific plate, and Antarctic plate. Earth's outer surface is divided into several plates that glide over the mantle. The rocky inner layer above the core. These plates move and interact with one another due to forces within the earth. Tectonic plates, they move relative to each other in three ways. What are the three ways of motion? Number one, transform. Number two, divergent plate boundaries. Number three, convergent plate boundaries. Number one, transform. Two plates slide past each other. Earthquakes could occur in this instance. Divergent plate boundaries. Two plates move away from each other. Convergent plate boundaries. One plate moves upward by pressing down the other. Look at this picture. Plate movement. Transform. Get these two arrows. Transform. Two plates slide past each other. Earthquakes could occur in this instance. Divergent. Look at these two arrows. Two plates move away from each other. Convergent plate boundaries. Get these two arrows. One plate moves upward by pressing down the other. This one goes up. This one goes down. Then you have to read your text before attending to the worksheet. That is the end of the lesson. Then the worksheet. The nature of the earth. Grade 7, Unit 8. A picture of the solar system is shown below. Name the planets that belong to our solar system in order. Number 2. Write how geologists get information about the nature of the interior of Earth. Question number 3. Name the layers of Earth in order A, B, C, D. Name the thinnest layout of the layers you mentioned above. Number 5. What is the main constituent of the Earth's crust? Number 6. Name 5 substances taken from the Earth's crust which are necessary for our sustenance. Number 7. Name the tectonic plates of the given countries according to the diagram in the not given. Sri Lanka, India, South Africa, Australia, Singapore. Number 8. What is a seismometer? Number 9. Where do you find a seismometer in Sri Lanka? Number 10. State three countries where earthquakes occur frequently. Number 11. Plate movements can be recognized on plate margins. Plate boundaries occur on land can be easily recognized. One such plate margin is located in North America. 
What is the name given to it? Number 12. Name the plates which are situated either side of this tectonic boundary. Thank you.